Hello. Ignore him. <laughs> Welcome back to the longest journey. So the apartment makes it a little difficult sometimes with two game players, but yeah, whatever. Got a total one viewer that's definitely him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, welcome back to The Longest Journey. Today we are continuing on the path of what we were doing last time, which is trying to figure out how to get into the theater. I actually had absolutely no memory of what was going on, but luckily I have grown wiser and smarter with age and I started naming my streams ahead of time so I would remember where I was at. So we needed something that was like chewy and sweet for the theater and I was thinking about it. I was like, it's probably gum. Like, how could it not be gum? So we're going to try to find gum. I will move my microphone out of the screen. <laughs> Perfect. We're going to try to find some gum. I'm guessing there might be some somewhere back at the house. That would be my assumption. Um, maybe elsewhere, but I don't know where I can actually buy things. So that would be the best bet in my opinion. But let's get on it and we'll just go for a gum search apparently. Ah! They get my hair caught in the headphones. You know, it works. And then we must continue the journey. And this is where we were last time. So, I'm pretty sure we're not going to find any gum there. So, the only place I can possibly think of would be the house. Because, like, who doesn't have something gum-ish in their house at some point? I guess if you don't like gum and or have braces, maybe, but... Otherwise, you probably have some gum. I know I have some. Um... Alright, we'll just go back, back here, and then the bridges. I like this game so much better now that I've figured out I can make her, like, sprint. <laughs> it's like, at least they still have to watch her run places, but at least they don't have to watch her stroll to a place. That's a little bit improved. Double check again. One, two, come on, thing. There we go. Mine is. Not I love like this mural. Another motif is yeah. a little trite. We're just looking I at mean, the mural fairy tale forests and magical dragons. Still, it's pretty. I wonder what happened to the artist. Probably making a bundle from cheesy fantasy calendars and book covers. It's very possible. I mean, if you have that option, why not? Do you have any gum, Fiona? We don't really have, like... Hi. Yes? What's Metro Circle What's like? What's Metro Circle like? I mean, I've That's been there, the but... That's the cheesiest and most ask. perverted neighborhood in Newport. <laughs> On the negative side, however, it's also a dangerous place to hang out. I wouldn't go there alone if I were you. Alright, fair enough. I have to get going. <laughs> I've already been there a lot. Take long. care of yourself out there, darling. Can I, like... They really knew how to design tacky furniture back in the late 22nd century. There's nothing over here that I can go... Nope. There's no gum sails on the cork board. There's a really cute monkey. Look! It's Monkey Boy! Alright, well, let's check upstairs. Oh no, there's plants and stuff. You can see if Charlie has something. Charlie. He's probably not at home, he's probably at work. Nobody home. Yeah, how about this stick? That's Zach's room. I've never been in there, and I pray I never will. I can go touch this plant. Oh good, I have a leaf. Some nice organic plastic. Well, you know. You never know when that's going to come in handy. 
Alright, so I have some more organic plastic. There's some books. Is there anything in the closet? Rifle through, find some gum. These old drawings. I could only this carry one suitcase. suitcase with me when I left home. There was so much I would have loved to bring, but c'est la vie. At least it was a clean break with my past. I guess when all my hard work starts paying off, I'll get a house and fill it with all kinds of new junk. The past, who needs it? Yeah, that's one way to think about life. I'm not good at taking care of living things, but this plant's doing just fine despite Same. months of neglect. Alright. Well, apparently it's not here. That, that's that Zach's room. I've never been in there, and I pray it. I never will. No, I don't think I'd appreciate the FUB barging in on me right now. That's true, but you can use the little touch panel thing, can't you? Isn't that the whole point? Shelves. Indeed. Uh, Alright, there's nothing there. Unless there's something over here. There's a machine of some sort. At least you've been more than I am. I have no awesome smell. What a mystifying contraption and completely absurd. I what are all the these valves and wheels and thingamajigs for? Is this something what for grand water? purpose does it all serve? What if I unclamp? Nope. Reclamp. Reclamp. Oh. Seems the clamp served a purpose <laughs> after all. Hm, what a surprise. I guess that's a pressure gauge. That's like it's a boiler. 100. That's percent, I guess. 100% pressure? Some nice the cables are too far apart to tie them back together. Looks like a big piece of cable was torn off. Do I have cable? I have a push pin. I could feasibly connect them. <laughs> I did not click out of that, by the way. Apparently, it was just like, no. No, you're not going to use the push pin on it. What if I spin this? It won't budge. Darn the it. pressure's probably too high. What if I hit that clamp and then... No. Alright, well, I feel like this must have something to do with something, but I don't know what. So at the moment we're going to leave it and remember there's a big machine there with the clampy thing. It's a pretty mural. Yep, that is indeed a mural. To the bridges. Um... I'm still going with, like, there's nothing over here right now. The next logical place for me to find something like gum would be this school. My thought is that somebody, like an art student, would chew gum while they're doing it. Unless there's just something on the ground. That seems unsafe. Nope, nothing of interest. I mean, somebody over here might have it, but she seems reluctant to ask random strangers for gum, which I get. I wouldn't want to either. Hmm. Let's do a quick jog to the academy. That's Mary Sam, Vava's founding mother and pro-Venice activist back before the riots. She was assassinated by a corporate hired gun right after the school opened some 90 years ago. That's unfortunate. Let's sprint in there quick. Alright, there's a garbage it's empty. can. Darn it. There's some shelves. Up upstairs. Nice. Very Van Goghish. With just a hint of monk. Art books. There's a really nice one here on Turner. 
love his landscape. Got a lot of random stuff. These are art books, books, sketches, paints, and more paints. And there's a box. Books, books, books. Sink. These sinks are as old as the building itself, but at least they've been renovated quite recently. Alright, well, we don't appear. I'm way past finger painting. I need a paintbrush and palette. Yeah, but you didn't want me to do that today, anyway, so. Some books on color, composition, and. duck hunting? Hmm. I mean, I could offer him the leaf, but it. For some reason, don't think he'd be into that. <laughs> and maybe. I don't know if it's sweet and chewy or whatever the heck he was looking for, but... Well, where else would we find something like that? Come on. No. Come here. Gotta get to that park. So there's the bridge. To the bridges or to the subway. Nothing adds more to the. Ah, never mind. That's that bridge. It's talking about. Like yes, that is a bridge. That way's ah still to the bridges. All right. Well, the other places we can go are the cafe. Maybe we can snag some of the bread or something. It's not really sweet and chewy. That's an interesting, interesting description. Oh, there's a mystery door. I don't think I've ever seen anybody pass through that door. Isn't that peculiar? And if I was Nancy Drew, I might actually care. I care? I want to see what's in the drawer, in the door. That's a, see, that bugs me. There's a couple of... Ooh, what is that? Candy jar? Yeah! I'm sure Stan won't notice if I dig gently into his supply. He's got crates of these in the back. Yeah, he'll be fine. Okay, bye! So yeah, if I see a door that's like, I've been there for a long time and I don't notice anyone using it, I'm always so curious. Because I saw for a long time. Where is this subway? There it is. Well, I sprint there. There was a doorway at my workplace that I never saw anybody going into or out of for like ever. And then all of a sudden I saw somebody using it every day. And I was just like, what the heck? And apparently it was just a storeroom for the computer, so it really wasn't that interesting. But it made me really curious because it's like, it's a, clearly a large room, but nobody was ever in there. Granted, we got a lot of those, especially on the other side of the building. There's a lot of large rooms that just no one ever uses. And it's very strange. Sprint! I still want to get that key up. Get on the train. I still want to get that key up, but I don't know how to do it without turning off like the electrical supply. <laughs> and I don't think they want me to do that. I am glad I figured out where he, or what I needed to do, I needed to get the candy. I don't remember why I needed to get him candy other than I was annoying him. And he didn't want me in the fuse boxes, I think. But... Hey! Is that talk to the candy? Give the detective some candy to work Would you like with. a candy? Hey, yeah. That'll hit the spot. Perfect. Don't you litter my floor, mister. That's fine. Details. Would you like a candy? Of 
Where are you going? <laughs> Did you just walk past him? I just want to offer this dude some candy. Alright, well, we've sweetened him up a bit. Let's see if he'll talk to us. And or let us in the fuse box. Hey, Hello again. Uh, Christ, don't you ever quit. I gave you what is candy. it now? What was it you wanted again? Something sweet and chewable to drown the bitter taste of boredom, ma'am. Now scram. That's the candy I literally already gave you. What if I give him more candy? You like Care candy, for right? Hey, sure, forget about it. Don't you litter my floor, mister. Where are you going? I just, I want you to get into the fuse box. Not as long as that detective's hanging around. Uh, do I have to give him more candy? Mercury. Oh. <laughs> just keep giving him candy. Until eventually he's so full he has to lie down. <laughs> Care for another? Hey, sure, forget about it. Don't you litter my floor, mister. Uh? Care for another? Hey, sure, forget about it. I, I feel like this can't Don't possibly be. you litter my floor, mister. Hi. What can I do for you, Mia? Thanks, anyway. Yes, yeah, some. I'll tell you what. You yeah, go yeah, on yeah, now. Yeah, you gotta, and let Freddie Mellon sweep. do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, get all P.I.S.T. off. All right, you sweep, man. Can I? Nope. Come here. I would like to ooze. With that glove. Ooze. Not April. Ooze. Alright, well clearly that's not it. Can I whack the detective with the glove? No. <laughs> no, I darn well cannot. Found. A gold ring under the common room sofa. If it's yours, let me know. But no false claims, please. Fiona. I did lose a gold ring a few weeks ago. I hope this is the one. I'll have to ask Fiona about it. What was that noise? Alright, well. It's locked. That's locked. Clearly the candy didn't do much of anything. Hmm. And well, we can go ask Fiona about the ring while we think about this dude. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but... This is why we got the week-long pass, so I could zoom back and forth constantly on the subway. I mean, clearly Cortez isn't here anyway. Oh! We switched passengers. And I'm just walking to the back, as one does. To the bridges. Go chat with Fiona. Let's see if she has anything about that gold ring. I should have looked at that earlier, didn't. Still really want to know how to get that key out from the subway. Hey, you have a ring, right? Hi. Yes? 
Maybe that's not the ring. I have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. Do I have to, like, use the note? Nope, not on the window. I saw this note on the corkboard. There board. we go. I think the ring might belong to me. I'm sorry I have to ask, but could you describe the ring? Sure thing. It says Sweet Sixteen. My dad gave it to me. I think it was the only birthday of mine he remembered, or at least acknowledged. I gave you yes, a ring, so that's, that's pretty nice. One. I found it under the sofa when I was vacuuming. Here you are, darling. Thanks. Yeah, I Not have a ring. Much, but it's got a certain sentimental value for me. It's a very pretty ring. Yeah, yeah it is. My dad never gave me anything pretty before or oh. since. He must have won a poker <laughs> game or something that day. Is that a good move? You know what's strange? I don't hate him. He's a bastard and he treated me like crap almost every single day of my life. But I don't hate him. I feel sorry for him. Yeah, that's good. Why? Sometimes he doesn't know how to love. Not the best thing Can't for love you. anybody or anything. And because he'll be miserable every second of every minute yeah, of every day until the day he dies. <laughs> Maybe she's God, holding a little bit of a grudge. I'm glad that life is behind me. I hope I never have to see him again. No, that doesn't sound right. I've made a choice not to see him again. Ever. I mean, that is literally the perfect age. That works. But we got a ring out of it. One that I can do things with. Mm-hmm. All right, so we gotta get that detective to move. Kind of unsettling to be so. We gotta figure out the subway situation. Those are the two main things right now, if I remember correctly. I feel like there is more of a hint on how to get the police officer moved, but I don't remember what it was at this point. So you know life. I wonder if we can use the toy monkey on the train to like poke the exposed wires. That is not correct. How about this leaf? Can I leaf the key? Mm -hmm. I cannot. Oh, look, he's a random stranger. Oh, well, now I gotta wait for another train. Luckily, they don't take very long. I feel like we have to like somehow turn off the electricity in the train station before we can get to that. What? I guess I mean what? I guess I No, I know. I know. Just get onto the train. So go back to the cop, that is confusing, because he wanted something sweet. We gave him something sweet and he's still angry. The screen really is ubiquitous. There's no escape anywhere. So, let's go back to here. Oh, we have to get up the elevator, too. I guess I could ask the uh, cop that's there if he wants some candy. Maybe he'll let us past if we share. It's worth a shot. <laughs> Worst case scenario, he still says, no, we can't go up to wherever I was trying to go. Mr. Police Officer, would you like some stolen hard candy? Why can I not click this? There we go. Mm -hmm. Hold it! Nope, You're not taking not this elevator. Either. Hold it! You're not taking this elevator. But I would like to Hold it. the elevator. <laughs> You're not taking this elevator. Alright, fine. 
It's a police officer. Yeah, I know it's a police officer. I was trying to give him candy, but you didn't want to for some reason. So. Come on. Oh, she's got to sprint 45 miles. And there's absolutely nothing over here to do, huh? This is just a walking area. It's down the street. This guy's the reason they invented the phrase hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Well, at least he's not doing anything. I know how it ever works. Popular place. Not my crowd, though. Alright, we'll just scoot down this way again. I don't know why I'm so intent on getting into this fuse box. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit? What is it now? What was it you wanted again? Something sweet and chewable to drown the bitter taste of boredom, ma'am. Now scram. Well, and we give you that. Oh, that's just eating the candy. Oh, God, it's awful. It tastes <laughs> like mouthwash. That seems about right. Oh, what was that that I have? Ooh, a sticky candy. Nope, get get back here and offer the detective a delectable Care for sweet. another? Hey, sure, forget about it. Don't you litter my floor, mister. Alright, so we've got that. He seems mildly happier. What if I give him the plant leaf? Nope, that doesn't work. And I can't get into this That door, door leads back into what looks like an alleyway behind the theater. It's locked. Because it's locked. And I don't currently have any keys. I have some sticky candy. I wonder. Okay. Nope, I can't come out with that. Or the push pin. So I was trying to see if I could combine the sticky candy with the glove so then I have a sticky glove so I could be like, key! Apparently that is not correct. Unless I can just... No, I gave him the non-sticky candy. I didn't think he would appreciate the one that I actually had in my mouth. We can try it. Worth a shot. Like, hey, do you want some... Some slightly eaten candy? Nope, I can't give him that one. I can only give him the fresh good candy. Which is... Still slightly sketch. But at least he'll take that. Care for another? That. Hey, sure, forget about it. Don't you litter my floor, mister. But then he refuses to go anywhere. I was like, don't you want a nice uh, stroll around the park now? Or It's locked. I can't get in the entrance of the theater. I need him to leave so I can get to that fuse box. The box off. But I don't know how to get. Yeah, that's a that is a possibility. I don't know where we'd find something else to eat, though. Is the thing. Yeah, true. He doesn't want something, even something chewy. You are correct. Well, we can go back and check the cafe again. I kind of want to try and stick to the subway, but we'll wait till later. 
So I think the cafe is the only thing I can think of that might have something else to eat. Because I didn't have, I was looking for gum. I don't know if you were here at the start of the screen, the stream, but I was looking for gum. I didn't find any. I was hoping there would be some in my apartment, but I didn't see anything there or any food for that matter. But I found some candy in here, but maybe there's another kind of food I can take. So that's the candy. If I go back to the cafe, there's breadsticks? Apparently I could take some of the breadsticks. I could offer him a breadstick and see if he'd be interested. I would certainly be interested if somebody gave me a breadstick. It's not sweet. But it is chewy. What if we mix the bread <laughs> stick and the candy? Will it let us? If we take this candy. Please. There we go. And we mix it with the bread. No. <laughs> the candy bread. Don't worry about it. Um, there's nothing else up here we can take. What? I got something on my face? Is my hair okay? Yeah, let's try the bread. Unless, does Charlie have anything? I doubt it. Charlie? Gotta go find Cortez again. He doesn't. Is this going to be a daily ritual with you guys? Apparently. I certainly hope not. Yep. Alright, let's go see if he's as big of a bread fan as I am. Take the subway. Gotta run 40 miles. If that's it, I don't know how it would work with the, like, sweet. But it is chewy. Maybe it's like a shibata. It's, those are a little sweet. I doubt it because it's a breadstick. No, no, no. You <laughs> Don't you walk backwards, Missy. While I'm here, what happens if I try to do sticky candy and then that key? Do I electrocute myself? I'll have to find some other way to get the key. Like a sticky candy, one might say. No, come back here. Well, that goes down there. I don't have a good, like, rope or anything. I do have this leaf. <laughs> I can try to force it out with the breadstick. Heck yes. Please? Oh, I'm going back toward the key. Nope. Run for the train! I gotta go give some bread to a policeman and hope it all works out. Worst case scenario, he's a bread hater. That is pretty bad. No, no, look at the subway. There we go. There's a lot of places I haven't been. These are the three that I have stuff to do. That police officer seems completely unbribable at the moment. He didn't take any candy. Maybe I need to break into the fuse box to be able to break the fuses? Alright, let's see if he will accept my offering. Mr. Detective Man. Nope. Stop walking. 
go go give the detective some bread. <laughs> Oh, apparently it's not that. Well, where else would we find something sticky to eat? Like, I know we could find box something office. Box office. in here, because, I mean, it's a movie theater, but... That doesn't really answer that question too well. It's a liquor store. I know, but what if they have some candy? Some lemons? Those are sticky and I would argue not sweet, but they could be sweet if you put some sugar on them. I don't know. Right alcohol? Somehow mix it up? Does this cop like bread? There's gotta be something to do with that, or else I just really like bread and will take it as I go, but. Which is entirely possible. Because that would be my actual... Wait, Hold no, it! You can't. You're not taking this elevator. You cannot drive this cop with bread. Good to know. Alright, let's head back to the subway. In that case, if there's something else in here, it's gotta be. That dude's creepy looking. It's gotta be in one of these areas. And it's probably not the park because there's nothing else in the park. That statue. I didn't see anything at the academy. Nothing adds more to the. So I assume it's got to be in the food place, unless it's at home somewhere, and I just didn't notice it. But I don't know what I would miss, because there's clearly nothing in her room. I've pillaged her room, high and low. Like everything is gone. turn that wheel, would the drain pipes of the universe open up and swallow all solid matter? It could happen. That's probably what happens, yeah. That makes sense. Hmm. I can't steal any more candy? Or I, I have I more than enough. More. Alright, fine. Don't steal more candy, but you might as well. Alright. I was going to the bar. That is an exit. It's the bread basket. What's that poster? Nope, that's just that same poster. Alright. It's a poster ad for an exhibition called Growing Pains at the Roma Gallery. Yeah, we already went to it. That wasn't bad. Alright, so it's gotta be the candy, but I gotta be missing something else. Unless I am missing something at home. Which we can check again, because why not? Because yeah, you're right, it's hard candy. As opposed to sticky and sweet. Although it doesn't necessarily say it's hard candy. Well, does it? I don't know. The actual thing might. But... I mean, if he's going to be that picky, come on. <laughs> I 
And I don't see any gum here. Just gonna go look at the coffee table, apparently. Emma picked this table up at a flea market for ten dollars last month. That's nine dollars more than it's worth. Yeah, probably. Do you have any gum? Hi. Yes? Yeah, any sure. idea where Cortez might be? Like I told you, darling, I wouldn't know. Ask Zack. I have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. But I can't ask Zach, because if I try to click on his door, it's That's like, Zach's mm, room. nope. I've never been in there, and I pray I never will. And we know Charlie is working. And there's nothing else here. A thingy. Rust is the very definition of Venetian architecture. Think of San Francisco without the hills, Paris without the cafes, Venice wouldn't be the same without the rust. It would be better, not the same. I wonder if we can take that clamp somehow. If we could take the clamp, then we could use it to remove. Uh, remove the key, and then we'd have a key. Please let me click the work look. There we go. Alright, clicking that clamp does not do it with the work glove. What about the sticky? The pressure's probably too high. Alright, the pressure's too high. What if I use this on the cables? No, nope, that doesn't work. Mystifying, mystifying. You can't flip the switches. <laughs> I suppose it's probably not a good thing to do in the middle of this, but... What if I use this work glove? Darn it. Go back in. Go into the machine. I want to use this work glove to try and bind the cables. Nope. <laughs> they are pretty mysterious. Gold is a binder, is it not? I want to say gold is a conductor. I hope it doesn't melt or anything. It's alive! Yay! Does that mean I can take this clamp off? Nope, I should probably not take that clamp off. I don't know what that did. Still no clamp, gotcha. Mystifying. Alright, so Mystifying. Mystifying. Ah, so that Mystifying. Yep. Yep, shut up. Oh, 
Okay, so if this is red, that won't move. I'm gonna click out and see if it resets. It does not, darn it. Okay, so this makes them all turn. And two of them are correct. Yeah? I don't know what way it needs to be. Apparently that's not the right way. Do they all need to be all? They probably all need to be. We all need to be some way, I'm guessing. Except for the <laughs> no, because like if they're all there, then it's a chain. Mystifying. Yeah, I know, I know. There we go. That green light turned on. I don't know what that means. Does it mean I can unclamp this clamp yet? No, it does not. The pressure's probably too high. All right, well. Mystifying. We got this green light to turn on. And that just says machine. Mystifying. It's hooked up to this house. So does that mean that Maybe the fan's working. Let's check it out. I was having someone staring nope. at Come me. Come upstairs. Go up the stairs. There you go. Because we were having troubles with the fan. Nope, definitely not that. <laughs> Well, I did something. I don't know exactly what that something was, but it definitely was something. Hi. I feel like it's a good first step. Yes? Have you noticed any changes in the house <laughs> since I started playing I with have the to thing get going. outside? Take care of yourself out there, darling. That's all I can think of is I should probably get that clamp off. But I don't know how to lower the pressure. Mystifying. Okay, Without the ring, I won't be able now. to use this um machine. I'll leave it until I finished whatever it is I'm doing here. That is true. The water, water tank's full. Okay, that's full. It looks gross. Hey! Alright, so now can I wheel it? The water tank is less water tanky. Can I unclamp it? Yay! I have a clamp! And I may or may not have broken this machine. I'm not machine leaving my gold ring. Somebody's going oh. to have to replace that cable eventually. Yeah, I does not take the gold ring? <laughs> I got we just destroyed the machine and now we're like, all right, bye. I'm gonna go get that key from the subway. I hope. I feel like that's gotta be what the clamp is for. And if it's not, then I have no idea why we're struggling that hard to get that clamp. Ah, uh, I feel so accomplished now. <laughs> I figured out the clamp situation. Possibly the key situation. 
It's a reacher with a grabby. So it looks looks pretty good. Let me pick up. Yeah, get that key for the unspecified thing. Down. Really? Not even with the clamp. I don't have any way to connect it to anything. What if I put it on the brick? No. Are you sure? You're absolutely positive. Try one more time. I think you could reach a little farther. Just saying. Alright. Well, with that, I still feel accomplished, so I'm probably going to end my stream before I get frustrated with this. So let me just save this game. go out to here and that was fun i am very glad i did manage to figure at least one piece of the puzzle out because this is it's a really fun game but the difficulty is it's an older game and so many of the older games give you puzzles with like no hints whatsoever like nancy drew like i was saying last time nancy just got your like little notebook thing where it's like here's your checklist of what you need to do this one's like i don't know wander around till you figure something out i'm sure it'll be fine details but it's still fun and we got the clamp out for reasons unknown i'm assuming we can get the key with it at some point but we'll see but for now i hope everybody has a good night and i will see you all later bye